Hey guys, so in our previous tutorial, we have created registration login API in our Node.js project and we have also implemented the same thing in our Flutter app through which a user will be able to register himself and make a login into the app. And we have also implemented a JWT token through which a user will be logged in into the app until the session get expired. Okay, so in this tutorial, we are going to create a model in which we are going to store the user to do list data. Okay, so let's get started with this part. So this is the ninth part. So in this part, we are going to create to do model. Okay, and we are going to create the API also so that the user can store his uh, to do list into our database. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, so now we are in our Visual Studio IDE and here is our Node.js project. Okay, so first of all, let's create a model, a separate model, a database collection uh, where we are going to store our to-do list of a user. Okay, so let's just create a file and let's name it as to-do model.js. Okay, so you can just name it anything. Okay, so in this we are going to create a Mongo schema that is MongoDB schema. Okay, so we have already done that in our user model. So what I will do is I will just copy paste the code from here and just change the name of the schema and everything. Okay, so you can just observe me. Okay, yeah. Okay, so first of all, we need to make a database connectivity. So for that first, let's import our database configuration. Okay, so you can just see. So this is our database configuration file. So it is pointing to this database. Okay, so we have done this in our previous tutorial. Okay, and the next thing is we need mongoose. So just import it over here. Okay, and then from mongoose we need to import the schema property. So just do it. Okay, and now let's copy the schema design also. Okay, and let's change this to from user to to do schema. Okay, so you can just name it anything as per your needs and inside content we need to change. Okay, and then there is no need of this functions. So just make a database connectivity by making use of our model and okay, so we need to pass our to do schema over here and we need to name this uh, schema collection a database collection name. Okay, so I will just name as to do. Okay, and here also we can just name it as to do. Okay, and now we just need to export this model. Okay, and now let's uh, change this uh, schema entries that is the properties in which we are going to store our data. Okay, so the first thing is okay, so just remove this. Okay, so we can just name it as title and description. Okay, both are of type uh, string. So both the properties are required. Okay, and the main thing we need to store the user ID also. Okay, so that we can understand of which user this data is about. Okay, so we need to just create a user model over here. Okay, so to create user model, we need to import our user model. User model require. Okay, so from this, we are going to just refer our uh, user schema. So user ID type will be of type. Uh, object mongoose object okay okay and then here we need to refer our database so we can do something like this user model dot model name okay so our uh, user to do model is been created okay so okay so let me explain to you what is been done over here so first of all we are going to import our database connectivity by our configuration file and we are going to import our mongoose and also we need our user model so that we can refer our user data that is a user id okay and then we are going to store uh, 
title and description of this user so if a user want to store his uh, to do list then he will enter id uh, title and description that will get stored over here and for the reference purpose we need the user id so that by making use of user id we can show the data or the list of to do of a user in the flutter app okay so let me open my mongodb compose okay so let us get connected okay so we have created user uh, collection over here same uh, likewise our to do collection will get created when we run our project okay so let me run the project and try okay so for that in our app.js we need to import our model just for testing purpose okay so here to do model okay so let me run the project npm run dev database connected and you can see once if i refresh let's check okay so you can see to do here we are going to store all our users data as i said that is user id title and description that the user enter in our flutter app okay so now let's create a api and store the data in our uh, to do model okay so for that here in route we need to create a to do route okay so i'm just keeping everything separate because it is easy and it is a good practice to uh, develop any node.js project okay so here in route to do route dot js so likewise in the service we will just create one more file that is to do services dot js and in controller also we will just create to do controller dot js okay so here in to do route we are going to create a to do route uh, that will be used by our front end to add data in our database okay and in controllers we are going to fetch the data that is request and response that the user has uh, sent from the uh, flutter app and from the services.js we are going to store the data entered by a flutter user in our database okay as we have done the same thing for our uh, user model to register himself okay so now just go to to do services dot uh, js and here first of all we need to import our uh, to do model that we have created so you can just import something like this and then let's create a class where we can just define various functions so i will just name this class as to do services okay you can just name it anything and here let's create a function uh, which uh, by which we can just uh, store the data in our database okay so static async okay so let's name it as create to do okay and then first of all let's uh, export this uh, to do class by making use of model export model dot export is equal to to do services okay so by doing this we can just import this file anywhere in our project and you can just make use of its function okay so now whenever this function is been called we need to pass three parameters as we all know that we are going to store three datas in our database that is user id uh, title and description okay so just accept three parameters over here so user id title and description okay and now here first of all let's create a object so const create to do i will just name it to do model okay and here we are going to store this three data in our data yes okay so our object has been created okay and now we are written await create to do dot save okay so whenever we do save any data is being passed to this function will get stored in this object by making use of this to do model class and the data will get stored in our mongodb database over here okay now let's go to our controllers and we need to just uh, call this function by passing this t parameter from this controller 
okay so now in to do controller we first of all we need to import our services that we have just exported okay so const to do services require services to do services okay and here let's create a controller function by making use of exports dot you can just create any function name so i can just name it as create to do okay so this functions accept three parameters from the front end that is the request response and next okay as i said in previous tutorial in request any data that is been uh, sent from the front end will come in the request body and whatever we want to send as a response to a front end will be sent to this re responses okay uh, so over here right catch okay so here next error okay so you can just show any error if any error is being found in this try block okay now here in our request we accept three parameters that is user id title and description from the user okay so first of all let's get those data so const request dot body okay and here we are going to accept three parameters from the front end in the json format so user id title and description okay and now this three function this three data we need to send it to our services uh, this function so you can just do it something like this let to do is equal to await to do services dot our function name is create to do and here we are going to pass our three data that is user id title and description that we get from our front end okay so after successfully creating or storing our data into our database we need to response it back to our front end so you can make use of this parameter that is response response json here success so status so i will just keep it as true and in success we are going to pass the data whatever is been stored in our database okay and now let's go to our routers and create a route in our to do route uh, file okay so to create a route let's open our to do route that we have created in our previous uh, user routes uh, file okay so as you can see we need to import express routes uh, from the express library okay and then we need to make use of this route dot post okay and let's create a route and let's name it as to do create okay or you can just name it as store to do okay so this is our api and whenever this api is been hit we need to send this data to our to do controller this function okay so we need to import this file in this route okay so here counts to do controller require controller to do controller okay and now let's make use of this dot create to do okay so now our api to store to do list has been created okay so let's check this api in by making use of postman okay so now in postman let's create one more tab over here okay so we just copy this address so it is our post method okay so let's copy the api over here and paste it something like this so from the body tag 
raw data json we need to pass three parameter as we all know okay so let me copy this thing paste it over here so first one is our user id that we need to pass from the front end second one is the title and the third one is the description desc this is test this is my first to do list data okay and the user id we can just get it from our mongodb database okay so i will just select this user id and i will just pass it over here okay and now let's check if our mongodb is working everything is saved okay so now let's send the data to our uh, api okay hit so it is saying to do is not a post method yeah okay so i just forgot one thing okay so after creating any new route we need to add it in our app.js by importing it so const to do route is equal to require to do route okay and here app dot use to do route okay refresh okay, so app is getting crashed okay we need to export this route also okay so model dot export refresh okay so you can see it is running on this port okay so now let me hit this data and check if it is working okay to do validation field title is required it is saying okay so i just made a spelling mistake over here okay so hit so you can see our data gets stored in our database okay so let's check okay so you can see the data is getting stored in our database so let me do it once again this is test 2 this is my second okay hit and the data will get stored in our database by user id okay so now we can make use of this user id to fetch this data and show it in our flutter app by making use of this user id okay so that's all for this video tutorial thanks for watching please do subscribe protocol thank you